home of the Rays Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida. Today it's the finale of this four game set between the Texas Rangers and the Tampa Bay Rays. Jay Mack looks to push his all time hit streak record to even greater heights. Next. Stepping in next, Jay Mack, already holding the all time hit streak record. He continues to carve out his place in the game's pantheon right here. You know, Matty, whatever happens in this guy's career, regardless whether he becomes a superstar for 15 years or fizzles away, this mark will always stand. It will always be something that other players chase. Children will learn about it in textbooks. This guy has certainly etched his place in this game's history. So a solo shot down the line in left. Eighth home run on the season for him. As the Rangers strike first, it's one to nothing. Love to homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. Digging in, the switch hitter, Jay Mack, off to a fine start in this one after launching a homer his first time up. as they begin play here this afternoon they have not been playing all that well to put it charitably as they come into this one losers of seven straight games yeah I get it Matty the team's on a moderate losing streak right now can't be happy with the way they've played but they have to find a way to relax a little bit everybody goes through these little stretches these little valleys throughout the course of a long season this team should right itself and it needs to start today. 2-0 home. 3 and oh, 0 now. Right Got a good spot to be in right now. Pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Ready with the 3-0 pitch. Ah. And it's fouled away. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms yeah, very easily. Here we go. Three two pitch. Soft liner to the right side. On the bag, on the bag. One on the run bag. scores. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. And not in time as the run scores. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far, D. Rowe. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed right, in that big here, bomb, halfway. but now he's got three ribbies to boot. Franco ranges back, and he has it for route number two. Up next, Jake Shiner, and he'll be one to watch out for in this one. Very good numbers in recent games. Wait for your pitch up there. Oh, and two. Here it is. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Nine men come to the plate for score. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Rangers five, the Rays two. Stepping in once again is Jay Mack coming off the clutch two-run single his last time up.
from the belt, the pitch. Hearn is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. Throw is up the line as it gets away. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Looking up is Zimmer, and this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A two run blast to straightaway right field, his second of the game, as this is now a seven run ball game. Well, if I was the manager, I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy. I mean, he's hit three home runs against them in this series. What more do they need to see? Four, five? Jeez, enough is enough. New inning set to get underway, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Jay Mack. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe he'll pop up in the infield. Next to stand in is Jay Mack. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Rain. Get, 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 get it up. And that's the second out. Next up, Michael Gigliotti. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Skied into straightaway right. Mack is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. That brings up Xavier Edwards. Two away here in the eighth, now and time's know. running out on the Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Mack is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. Ninth inning coming up. The Rangers lead it 9 to 4. Wow, that's an impressive end to a four-game sweep that comes on the road. That's never easy to do, no matter who's in the other dugout. And this ball game ends at a 9-4 final score. Texas took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Number 31 gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Jalen Beeks allowed seven 